In today's video, we are discussing about how should beginners operate an oxy fuel cutting torch. Let's talk in detail about how can beginners should use the cutting torch. On construction sites, it's very common, and if you're a welder, you must know how to operate it. First, let's introduce the torch. On the handle, you'll see three knobs. The bottom one is for acetylene. The middle one is the mixer. The top one is for oxygen. Now steps for cutting one. Holding the torch. Hold the torch in your right hand. Support it with your left hand on top. Usually squat down in position to work steadily. Two, lighting the torch. First, open the acetylene knob halfway. Then open the mixer knob halfway. Use a lighter to ignite, but do not point the lighter directly at the nozzle. Otherwise, it can burn your hand. Place the lighter near the side of the nozzle to ignite. Three, adjusting the flame. After ignition, adjust the middle knob, the mixer, to regulate the flame. Slowly reduce until you see a clean blue flame cone at the tip. Acetylene should be opened slightly larger, otherwise it won't cut through the plate. Four, torch positioning. Aim the cutting line directly along your guide line. Keep the nozzle about three to four millimeters away from the steel plate. Not too far, or it won't cut through. Not too close, or the torch might backfire. Tilt the torch slightly at an angle, not straight down. Five, preheating before cutting. First, preheat the steel until it becomes red hot. Once it's red, open the top oxygen valve to start cutting. If you hear the puff, puff, puff sound at the backside, it means it has cut through. See that? It's cut through, folks. When you make a fine cut, after cutting, the top surface won't have any oxidation slag, right? Got it, brothers. After all the effort, give me a like, okay? Thanks for the support. Weldmaster India.